What's up guys, it's Missy. I'm back with another SimCity build a video. Today we're gonna to be doing a high level contest and mayor's walkthrough for the city meadows. First thing we're gonna do is set the scene. Actually, no, scratch that. First thing y'all is gonna do is hit the like and subscribe button. Cause I hate saying it for no reason. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna set the scene. Mega League, high level comm. All right, cool, got that. Now, he's level 30. Why is that important? What do we need to know? Why, like, when it comes to setting the scene, you guys, the reason that we need to know the city level is to know how many factory slots they have, etc. There's so much information you can get from that alone. Um, for example, he's a high level player that's level 30. What this means is that he does not have the large regional items unlocked which means that the regional coins assignment can really only be done through the regional HQs. And that can be very difficult, which means that some of his choices may be a little bit different than somebody who is higher than level 35. He has 9K cash, so we don't have to worry about that. He's got 780 storage, so that's good. And then he prepped electric, Paint, drills, beef, cupboards, fire pits, yogurt, watches, pizza, and barbecues. Okay. <clears throat> this is his task assessment. Now, basically what you do is you go through and you label everything. Non-premium is assignments that cannot be worth 3,000 points. Premium can be worth 3,000. High premium can be worth over 3,000. Main assignments are assignments in the list worth 2,000 points or higher. Uh, rotatable assignments are in the list below 2,000 points. And then anything that you're not going to do is a no touch assignment. Anything that is limited or limit, you know, will be marked with an L. Anything limited time will be marked LT. Okay. LR are assignments that get done as a last resort rotatable option just before the streaks. So the first one here is in the streak. That is a non premium rotatable corn. Then we have a premium main on the cactus simoleons. What this means is he'll have to open up the cactus regional. Okay. Then we have, he marked it non-premium grapes. I think technically grapes has the ability to be worth 3,000 points, but I'm not 100% sure. I can't remember. I think it can be though. That is a main assignment. Then we have a premium VU for 2,000. That would be main. Then we have a premium main London delivery non-premium rotatable on the glass but honestly at this value with it being a high level player probably won't do this at all um, non-premium limited on the epic lr um you know with it being with this person being a high level player he doesn't he, he has the ability to do epics on other maps now but given the frequency in which epics return, it's usually best to just leave them sit if they're not worth main task value. Then we have a premium rotatable on the cactus uh, zone, and then a non-premium rotatable smoothies, premium rotatable Paris, non-premium limited time no touch monster, non-premium no touch on the design. So starting off his week, we don't have a 3K task here. That's not a good sign. Uh, but he does have a lot of main tasks. So the very first choice should be the cactus coins. Let's see here. Okay. He did not do the cactus coins. I don't really know why he didn't do them. His regional HQ should be available. If his regional HQ was not available, um, he should have went with the grapes. Unless he... Technically, he thought it was a non-premium, so um, he may have had baskets or something prepped in that shop, in which case I would have left the baskets to sit because that's too much prep for uh, 100 points to just throw away, you know what I'm saying? So I don't really know the reasonings why he didn't do these. This very well could have been the correct choice under those circumstances, but if the regional... Uh, was available, the cactus one was available, he should have done the cactus because it's gonna need done anyways. Um, you know, so he does the VU, he gets a 2K keys, 
and he does the Tokyo or the London delivery. Then he gets a launch attack and club horse for 2000, which he does. Then he gets a green valley for 2000, which he does. Okay, so look. Here he did the BU and he got keys. Now he does the London and he gets uh, launch attack and club horse. So that's one assignment that was good. Hasn't switched doorways. And he gets a 2K Green Valley. So that's two assignments that are good. Doesn't switch doorways. And he gets a non-premium main um, launch spe specific attack in Club Wars. That would make it three good assignments on this door. So right now this is his good doorway. It turns into a 2K repair. And then he does the 2100 on the grapes. Okay. Um, then he does the 2100 on the cactus. Then he gets the Green Valley again. Okay, so now we've got one good task on this door. Then he gets an Omega 3K, so that would make that two on this door. Now it turns into a non-premium Neocoins. So that door wasn't super good to him, right? Well, it was only two tasks. Now he goes back to do his other assignments. Now here's where he screws up. He should have went with the repair because if you don't recall, that was his good doorway, right? So both of them are non-premium. Even though keys is usually what you choose over repair, there was a determining factor here that wasn't placed in and that was which doorway was good. Okay, so now he gets a 2,900 on the leaf simoleons, which he does. And Keys comes back for 1600 So now he goes with the repair. And he immediately gets a 2880 on uh, lawnmowers. So now we're back at the good door again. So good assignment. Gets a launch specific attack. That's good assignment number two. Gets a launch disaster for 2K. That's good assignment number three. Uh, then he gets Omega. That's good assignment number four. And then he gets another 2K upgrade. That's number five. Then he gets an Omega upgrade. That's six. Uh, regular residential. That's seven. All right. That was seven good assignments from this doorway. That doorway ended with a non-premium 1740 lowish algorithm on the Ecotex. Now, the order of rotation is that when all of your main tasks are gone, you move to your highest premium with highest algorithm. In this case, it would be the Green Valley, or sorry, the Cactus. So he does that, and he gets a non-premium regular residential. So again, all main tasks are gone, moves to his next highest premium, which would be the Paris. Okay, now that we've opened up all the good possibilities, that's the whole purpose in doing that, is to open up all of your premium options first. Now we can go back and follow the next order of rotation, which is once all, non, all, once all main tasks are done, you move to your highest premium. Once all of your premiums have been dealt with, okay, you move to your highest non-premium with lowest algorithm rate, and then all the other criteria that goes into play. In this case, the highest non-premium is the Neocoins. The second highest non-premium is the Ecotex. Now, what else do we need to take into consideration? Algorithm, which one of the two has lower algorithm? Ecotex has lower algorithm than Neocoins. What else? Ecotex is also our good doorway, right? Not really any risk here, so the downtime is about an hour. Um, that would be our, our next obvious choice is our good doorway Ecotex. And it immediately gives him a good task, which is the war, uh, upgrade war card for 3000. Then it gives him a 1760 on watches. Now, here we would, again, we would start back up at the top of the order of rotation. We would say, okay, no mains, no premiums. We want our highest non-premium, lowest algorithm, best impossibility, yada, 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 yada. That would still be the watches, OK? 
Okay. Now he gets an old town home, which kind of made up for the lost points. Then he gets a 2800 on cactus. So now we're back at two good assignments here. And he gives him an 1800 on chems. Now that's not really a good sign. Okay. It's, it's not being as good to him as it once was. So here I would have actually switched doors and said, you know what? We only got two good assignments out of that after we just did a non-premium rotation on it. In this case, I would have went with the neocoins. So this was a mistake, okay? He did not need to take double downtime. Well, actually, yeah, it would be, I think, double. I don't know how many factory slots he has. I don't know if he's purchased the premium pass and all that, but either way, this was a mistake. It didn't make sense to take downtime even though that was his good doorway, it's not being as good to him as it once was. So I would have went with the neocoins. Okay, so now he gets his Latin. And then it gives him tape. See what I'm saying? Like, it was giving him one thing, and then it's just giving him garbage now. Now he goes with his metal. Which I don't really understand why, because if you look here... Oh, for some reason I thought the ne or neocoins was 1800. That's my fault. Okay. Uh, in that case... I would have went with the metal uh, before the neocoins on the, like, before the chemicals or whatever. I would have done the metal and kept working. Even if you were going to do the chemicals later, he should have done the metal first and then kept working. Um, I don't know why I thought that was 1800. Okay, so he does that. He gets his... Omega for 3000 Then he gets baskets for 1960 Now that's close enough to main task to be considered good, but good assignment. So that's two good assignments. Then he gets Omega for 2000 That's three. Then he gets cactus coins. Uh, that, that would have been his fourth good assignment, but he didn't do it. My assumption is that he is too close to the streaks. He can't risk it. it it's just too risky. You know, with his uh, time remaining that was opened up a while ago means his regional HQ is closed. He doesn't have the lung fact or not the lung factory. He doesn't have the large regional item to sell. So there's really no way for him to actually do this assignment, um, especially if it comes back in the streaks. So it's just going to create too much of a risk. In this case, we would want to, uh, let's see. I would have went with the Paris, honestly, here, because it's higher in value. I mean, he could go with the tape measures because they don't cost cash, so I understand that. Uh, you know, yeah, I would say tape measures was okay, for if that's why he did it to save the cash. Now he gets a 2400 on the uh, launch common war attack. Then he gets jam. Now that's two good assignments. Now he gets regional HQ for 1500. Now that is excellent. He can leave that to sit now. It doesn't make sense to you know bring that risk upon himself. I don't know how many regional maps he has unlocked. I think he has three or something. But it doesn't make sense to risk it. Like, let's say he does that assignment, okay? And he, let's say he just opened up a regional HQ. And he has 24 hours to complete the streaks. But let's say that he gets a uh, double downtime on electrical. Or a double downtime on feed. And then he's got, you know, 10 hours and he still has five streaks to do. And he gets regional HQ, and it's closed. He's going to fail the streak. It's just not a risk worth taking, especially for 1,500 freaking points, right? So it can be dealt with after the streaks, right? doesn't make sense to do it now. So he goes with the Paris, okay? Um, here, let's see. How many tasks? 25. Honestly, I would have went with the keys, because those the, the keys are to be done before um, before the streaks 
as because most of the time when you get your streak assignments, they're not usually worth very much. When you rotate in your repair and your keys before the streaks, typically they have a tendency to come back worth 2,000 points in the streaks, or at least, at the very least, they come in for 1,200, right? But the reason also why is because it usually helps you secure long factory productions. And in this case, the Paris will only cost him cash. That's kind of why we didn't choose it earlier. Um, so I would have went with the keys here. He gets his Omega for 2,000. Then he gets a 3K war attack. Now, in this case, I don't think he can do it. I think we were in, we were not in war, which again, that's also why it's important that you move quickly. Usually what I try to do is I try to get to the streaks before the first war ends, okay? This allows you to make sure you can complete all of your war assignments. It also makes sure that you have, uh, you know, that's the first 24 hours basically, you know. It allows you to make sure that you have all your regionals squared away. And then it gives you the rest of the week where you can do whatever. Because you've got basically two days into the contest. Um, here he went with the regular residential. I would have went with the keys. He got his spatula for 1920 or something. So he does that. And then he gets VU for 3000 uh, 3000 upgrade then he gets textiles which all right cool that at least is secured now he's able to do the launch attack and club wars or whatever the rare attack uh he gets another 2k assignment and now he gets a 1400 on saps now he's at 17 tasks remaining i assume he's going to try to save some tickets here he has Two days, 16 hours, that is a little bit uh, low in case he gets a bunch of factory productions. I would have at least attempted to rotate the coins, or sorry, the keys. You know, just at least that, so that you could see if you could get your next factory production, especially since you just had a factory production come in recently. He went with the corn, then he gets cargo, uh, upgrade Paris for 3,000, upgrade Old Town for 3600 Delivery to Tokyo. Seeds. Minerals. Upgrade. Upgrade. Pizza. Forks. Upgrade. Plastic. Upgrade. VU. Baskets. Upgrade. VU. London Delivery. Uh, Paris Delivery. Upgrade, 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 delivery, and that's where he's at now. Um, one day, 10 hours remaining. He's on streak six. So I believe he has like a 100K lead. <laughs> so he's just going to kind of sit and save the rest of his tickets. I don't blame him. Overall, he did pretty good this week. Um, the advice that I would have for you, Meadows, is that when it comes to your rotatable options make sure that you look at your doorways and make sure that you when it it seemed like before the streaks um you were still going for opportunity okay when you guys rotate your stuff think about you know what you want to come in if you are just before the streaks and you want to get your factory productions Think about the best way to not lower your score or cost yourself anything more than you have to. For example, the Paris, you know, that really didn't need rotated in. Um, the, ca the cash didn't really need to be spent, right? You could have gotten the same amount of points and had a better chance of a factory production to come in the main list and not spend any cash by doing the keys over the Paris. So just little things like that. Just look at, you know, what you want to get in your list versus necessarily opportunity. Um, and then like, let's say it was sooner in the contest, you know, obviously by looking at opportunity, you're, you're basically saying that I want a decent assignment to come back 
just pay better attention to that. And honestly, other than that, you did really well this week.